Welcome to Digital Asset News, take a top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and bring them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, we've got some concerning news. First up, Hedgeye Risk Management CEO sells all of his Bitcoin. And this is just after a week ago where he said that Bitcoin looked like a long position. So what is going on also? Stansberry Research had on a guest by the name of E.B. Tucker, and he's a big gold bug. And what we're gonna go over is of course how gold stacks up to Bitcoin, but really the big thing is how everything is going to play out in the next three to six months, which could cause that store of value narrative to reach all time highs. And big news, Theta Network announces video on demand. So what that means for the streaming platform Theta is that they're going to go direct opposition to YouTube. And the question I ask myself is, I have a streaming key. Why have I done some streaming on Theta? We'll talk about that and exactly how to buy Theta. And lastly, we'll go over Q of the day, which is a pretty good one, which talks about if I had $1,000, where would I invest it into what cryptocurrency project? So we'll get into all that. But first, let's take a look at what's going on with the market. So today it is October 6th. It is Tuesday. It is 3 p.m. Everything's going later and later. What do we have? Well, Bitcoin, eh, not too bad. 10.5, uh, down 2%. So uh, in the 24-hour time period, seven days, 1.2. Uh, it's pretty stable. I will take that right now. Ethereum, ooh, takes a little bit of a tumble, down 4% really rocketed past that 350 into that 337 range not too fantastic tether is tether <laughs> xrp 24 cents watch out binance coin still in that fifth position even though their DeFi play really didn't pan out polka dot down massively 12 percent to 369 chain link 9 percent 868 just across the board just a big shellacking eos for some reason is up six and a half percent i don't know why probably no good reason who knows let me know in the comment section Maybe you can figure out that little mystery, but everything else is just, just got pummeled. Two and a half percent up for Ethereum Classic. Well, that's strange. The one that had three 51% attacks is going up. So just everything across the board is just taking a beating. How low will we go? Don't know, but I will tell you this, it is not looking good. Look at Uniswap, 13, almost four, well, 14%. You're in finance, which was, uh, I think it topped out at 40,000. Now it's at 16,000 and the hits keep coming. So if you foam it into projects, this is where it's gonna really hurt. Now, if you've DCA'd dollar cost average in, this could be an opportunity to buy things on the low though, but it really comes down to what are you comfortable with? So let's take a look at some concerning news. So this is Keith McCullough. He's the CEO of uh, Hedge High Risk Management, and he was talking about Bitcoin all the way back in 2017. And just recently today, he said, hey, I'm, I sold all my Bitcoin. So what's going on here? So Keith, Hedge Risk Management, cashed out all Bitcoin. Again, 2017 is when he first announced his big play into the cryptocurrency leader. And today he told his 189,000 Twitter followers, hey, I've sold it all. He didn't provide a reason, but he did retweet something from Luca Balstieri, who said that McCullough understands correlations and he is not a permable. So if he understands correlations and he believes that Bitcoin is correlated to the stock market, what does that say? Well, it says that potentially the stock market, the traditional markets might take a major beat down and we will only see as time progresses. Balstieri continued, he sold all his Bitcoin today. He didn't say he won't buy Bitcoin anymore in the future. So if the USD strengthens, so all the many correlated things to it will go down, Bitcoin included. So there's different lines of thinking here. People like Robert Kiyosaki says that gold and Bitcoin are a hedge against catastrophe. And people put their money into that for an asset allocation or to save themselves from a rising uh, tsunami, which might uh, hit. And the other side is that if the traditional market goes up, that people will take their money out of Bitcoin and gold and put it into the traditional market because they want to make gains in the stock market. So there's two different ways of looking at it. I personally believe that the traditional stock market is way overvalued. People are fumbling in over there like crazy. You've got people buying stocks that were hurts, with, which went through bankruptcy. So they're buying into that, which makes absolutely no sense. And I only see pain and problems along the way, especially for the traditional market. So maybe I'm missing something, but uh, I see some problems coming about around the horizon. So to finish up, Hedgeye Risk Management produces what it calls the holy grail of risk management investing tools. According to McCullough, the firm provides advisory service to clients that manage over $1 trillion in assets. 
My thoughts are this. We just took a look at the market. We saw how bad it was playing out. There's a lot of red today. So if this holds true and McCullough is totally correct and everything starts to slide down more and more and more, but for me and investors, it's really just another day at the office. The same thing happens again and again. Cycles come, cycles go. We're going to see some crashes. We're going to see some peaks and valleys. And is this guy right? Well, a lot of people have bet against Bitcoin many a time and they've all been proven wrong. So we will see. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on. Before we jump to the next section, I think this is one of the reasons why the market has done a big tank. So if you're not from the United States, this is the president, Donald J. Trump. And he says, uh, looking to the future of our country, I've instructed my representatives to stop negotiation or negotiating until after the election when immediately after I win, we will pass a major stimulus bill that focuses on hardworking Americans and small businesses. So what's going on is that the market, all markets have reacted to the president and stated, hey, if we're not getting a stimulus package, this is bad for everybody. So I can see a lot of long-term pain lasting until November, possibly the end of December. And I think this is gonna really play into what we're gonna talk about right now.